This vid in this video, I'm going to show you how to load and operate one of the newer pinhole cameras that have the enlarger lenses mounted to them. To do this, you're going to open up this camera and find a magnet inside. This is very important because the paper that we're using is going to be 4x5. It's a lot smaller than the paper you used for the other pinhole cameras. It needs to go in flat against the back of the pinhole camera with the shiny side facing out, facing that opening uh, where the lens is. Make sure that you guys do that properly. Put the magnet right on the top of the paper. The image is going to project as a circle in the middle of this paper and so the magnet won't affect your image, but I am going to cheat it and move it up towards the top of that, the very top edge. I'm going to seal the pinhole camera and then I'm going to find the aperture ring which has all of the aperture sizes listed for, uh, for you to use. What you're looking for is you're looking for the white dot and you're going to click the different aperture sizes trying to find the one that you want to shoot at. I recommend for this today to start at f11 the video is a little bit not sharp, so it's a little hard to see it, but that's where you're going to go, F11. Then, when you cover this in the dark room, you don't want to use your hand because the hand gets warm and is going to create condensation on the lens. So by the time you actually get to where you're taking a picture, it's not going to work. Uh, what will end up happening is uh, you'll remove your hand from it and the condensation will have the lens fogged. Instead, what you want to use is this black piece of board. So in the dark room, once your camera is loaded and it's turned to F11, cover this just like this with the black piece of board. Then go out and take a picture. Now the other problem with these cameras is they're round and so they're not going to stay steady. They're going to rock back and forth. So what you want to use is a roll of tape or some round object. So I'm just using one of these loops right now, but a roll of tape will do the same thing. You're going to place the camera on the roll of tape or whatever round object that you have and then get it settled so it's not moving anymore. Then I'll let go of one hand and then let go of this to take the picture. When the exposure is done, I can pick it up with the palm closing it. It makes it a lot easier and safer to do that. Um, it's okay after you take the picture because if the lens gets fogged on your way back to the dark room, you're not taking a picture, so it's okay to do that. That's it.